What are some advice or tips that you can give to someone that wants to become a voice actor or get into the industry? All right, you want to be a voice actor. Um, the first thing you have to be is an actor. Mm -hmm. uh, take acting training. This isn't a, oh, I'll be that kind of actor instead of this kind of actor. It doesn't work that mm -hmm. way. Uh, acting is acting is acting. The difference is technique on how you get it out. Uh, you know, with film, it's about the eyes. With stage, it's about the body. With, with voiceover, it's about the music and your voice. But the acting, what's underneath, is the same. So that's the first and foremost thing that is, is act. Look for chant. Look for opportunities to practice and do it in your own community. Don't wait to come to LA to do it. It's too late. You want to do it at home. That's why I say, you know, get in plays, uh, join a choir, get performing, do speeches, get in front of people, read to the blind. That's a great thing to do. Yes. Um, just whatever it is that gets you performing and reading, that's what you need to do. And third of all is uh, don't expect it to happen quickly. It's going to be a while, and eventually you have to move to where the work is. So there is some work here in Washington. There's a little mm -hmm. bit of voiceover work mm -hmm. for video games here because Microsoft mm -hmm. does work here. Yes. But Microsoft brings in their heavy hitters. So yeah. it's, it's not likely you're going to get a big part in a Microsoft thing here. Um, you know, most of the work is done down in Los Angeles mm -hmm. uh, for, on, on this side of the country. Mm -hmm. If you're Canadian, Vancouver. Lots of work in Vancouver. Okay. At Ocean Studios. I shouldn't have said that. <laughs> <laughs> no, I know what you No, mean. I don't know what they are, but the productions, the studios don't hire the actors, the productions do. Yeah. Um, uh, great studio, though. It's nice people up there. Good. And the third thing is consider why it is you want to be an actor. Um, if it's because you want to get famous, I'm a, a little famous. People. It's kind of fun, but it doesn't pay the bills. Nope. And it's not real. Fame no. is really people's perception of you based mm -hmm. on a character you played. It has nothing to do with you. Nothing and that's what messes you. people up so much. Yes. So that was the <laughs> third one. Oh, yeah, I think I have. You're had, so like, had everywhere, a... so you're just like, I lose my train of thought. <laughs> no, but it's, it's, yeah. we're going to segue into the, into the really big thing that I really, really wanted to talk about in this interview. And that is the, the voice acting classes, which is Adventures in Voice Acting, which is taught by you and then Julie. I don't Julie know. Julie Cleaver. Julie Cleaver. So Formerly Julie Madalena was her stage name. Yes. Okay. So tell us about that and why it is important for <laughs> people to, to take these classes well not just our classes any classes yes. I mean we, we yes. I, you know I do take people to get get an acting class take your acting you know, take uh, you gotta go to where the work is but you also need to take voice acting workshops and voice acting class specifically and there I'm not just I'm not the only one there's some very good ones out there mm. but ours is called adventures in voice acting uh, we teach um, all over the country yes uh, in fact we'll be here in Seattle in August mm -hmm. uh, teaching and um, what it is it's uh, I teach two uh, full day weekend workshops that are all about voice acting in the anime world mm -hmm. so it's it's, it's a little more of a techniques class, although there is some acting instruction and we do get into some basics of that. Mm -hmm. But it's really a techniques class on, on how to do this sort of work mm -hmm. and, and, what you, and, and with a lot of practice. So we, I, I lecture, mm -hmm. we, do, we do stuff, we practice, we record. I, use, I go to a real recording studio, we use real scripts from real anime. Mm -hmm. We have the original scenes from those anime, so when we play you back, your, your voice is, is inside with the other original actors which is really instructive because you can mm -hmm. hear how you compare mm -hmm. and sometimes that's e that's more instructive than anything that I can oh, say. Oh yes. Oh yeah. Uh, there are 6 hour 7 hour classes with an hour oh, break yeah, in the day. Oh yeah, hour classes. And yeah. uh, and they are they are fun and they are informative and what I hope the people walk out of those classes either knowing that they want to do this and knowing what to do. Mm -hmm. Or knowing that this was fun, but I don't want to do this because both of those are good good outcomes. Yes, <laughs> of course, yes. Yeah. So if it's okay with you, I would I'm gonna go ahead and put all this information to Adventures in Voice Acting down in my description mm. down below for okay. YouTube channel. That's perfectly fine with you That's guys. That's perfectly fine. That's perfectly fine. But I will okay. tell them. Yes. If you want to find out more information? It's adventuresinvoiceacting.com. Hit the workshops button. It'll give you all the information. There's an email list you can get on there. But we will be here mm -hmm. in Seattle, August 24th and August 25th, 21st, uh, mm -hmm. to do our classes. And you guys travel everywhere uh, across the uh, uh, the United States. Yes, mostly we're in Burbank, Los in Los Angeles, mm -hmm. which is where I do those every mm -hmm. couple of months there. But we'll mm -hmm. also be in Chicago in May. Yes. Uh, and uh, and we're probably going to do a class in Dallas later this year. Um, and uh, we're trying to get back to San Francisco, but they got mm. too pricey. So we're yes. working on we're working on finding a studio <laughs> there that we can actually afford. And also to you guys, just because you take these classes, that does not guarantee that you are going to find voice work. These are strictly for in informative and to inform you what's going on, what you need to do, how to get started. So don't take these classes expecting, oh, I'm going to get a voice role if I take it. No. Just don't don't do that. That's not the right approach. Take them because you want to learn, you want to know. And hey, you never know, you might make a connection. But definitely come into this ex uh, um, expecting to learn rather than uh, having ulterior motives. 
Um, other than and let me add to that is that if somebody's promising you, hey, I just saw an ad in, in, in one of the things. Yeah, saying, you talked about you it. Do, I remember. You yeah. make six figures with your voice. <laughs> run away from those because it's not how it works. You may. You may make six figures with your yes. voice. But, but there's no guarantee, and that's actually more the exception than the rule.